Douglas, out of the USA, he was out specially just for the night. Our guest speaker, the Angelis Manazuka, is coming with the word. She is going to be on the album. She is a preacher singer, and she is a mother. And as young as she is, you're going to see her. She has three handsome wives. And she can sing. So, all of us, put your hands together. Somebody give God a praise this morning. Come on. Stand on your feet and give him a praise. God bless him, man of God. God bless him. Give him a praise. Come on. Give God a praise. The Bible said, let everything that has bread, let everything that has bread. Somebody give him a praise. When I say get out of God's spring, out of God's church. This time I must say, we don't want them in here. What I say? Come on, girl. And this time I must say, we don't want them in here. Talk to me. We don't want them in here. You go like this. They talk about spirit. Go to God, church. They talk about spirit. Go to God. No I never come with money in a purse And I don't like them with my pastor first They talk in my spirit Out of God's church And I say they talk in my spirit Out of God's church They talk in my spirit Out of God's church No I never come with money in a purse And I don't like them with my pastor first They talk in my spirit Out of God's church let me talk to the young man. Young man, pull up your pants and your waist. You don't have no bed, just use your shoes, lace. Stand like that, that it a big disgrace. No one has been on the place. The young man, stop act like a lady. You must be mad that you're crazy, you're crazy. This is Jesus Christ. Get out the mat spirit. Get out the mat spirit. Go to that church. No one ever come with money in a purse And I don't like the one my pastor first Get up, let me talk to the lady then Woman, stop act like a man Them they think they have humiliation We don't want to see nothing in It wrong, it wrong, it wrong That's why I'm missing Get up, they have spirit God bless you See you later on God bless you See you later on See you later on. My father never come with them. I love powder. Father God of me, pan him shoulder. Somebody give my praise. Somebody give my praise. Tell him to come with them island powder. Father God, that me pan him shoulder. Let them walk with them shield and sword. Father God, that guard me in the road. One day me go get my reward. Father God, that cover me and heal me yard. The blood of Jesus reach on my last sin. And that's why you the good and proud me. Wash me in. God bless you. See you later. Catch your leader. Somebody wave your hand. 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 And who are far? Wave your hand. Man, to go be here. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Somebody give him a praise. 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 Hold up your hand. God bless you. See you later. I would like every one of you this evening to come out later on. Because Minister Deron is a young man. Amen. Working for Christ. Many young men are here today just for the Lord, not you? And I choose Christ. So we want to support him, right? So all of you just come out later on. It's going to be a blessing. Minister Douglas, you
I ask of thee. No other help but I know today, oh God. Father, as I'm here standing my ticket, as a vessel of honor, my ticket, I give myself to you completely. Mouth, ears, eyes, heart, hands. Father, surrender all to you right now, my dear God. Father, decrease this flesh. Oh God, let your Holy Spirit come alive in this place. Through me, mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, it is all about you today, oh God. There is no life that you need. And I'm going to give you all the glory of your great riches and souls of this earth. Mighty God, I am not going to do Jesus Christ, but it's just going to do glory. So you use me accordingly, my mighty God. Oh Father, God, I did quickly declare that I ask for the Holy Spirit. I pray, God, that you will saturate the atmosphere right now, Holy Ghost. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you will work in this sanctuary, my God. I pray, God, that you I would like to honor again the Holy Spirit who is the head of my life, first and foremost. And I would like to greet Bishop Bates uh, and Lady Bates. Hallelujah. All the saints of God that's here today, President, God bless you. It is a pleasure to be with you today. I stand here representing RGI Ministries, that is my home church. Restoration Gospel International. Um, they're having service right now, so I know they're... Rewatch the live later on. I'd like to greet my bishop, Bishop Katie Smith, and my first lady and pastor as well, Lady Michelle Watson, and just all the ministers that are watching and are supporting me as I was sent by the Most High God to share a word with you all today. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. And I thank you all for welcoming me today. And I'll just jump right into it. Amen. The scripture reading today will be taken from. Mark, the book of Mark, Mark chapter 13, and I will just be reading verse 33, as a matter of fact, I'll be reading from verse 33 to 37, amen? And, and the word of God reads as thus, take heed, watch and pray, for you know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. Lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you all, watch. Hallelujah. To so God be the glory now. This is written in red. So this is Jesus Christ himself speaking. Amen. I come today with a warning. Hallelujah. It is time to wake up because Jesus is coming. It is time to seek God for spiritual insight that he may show us what is to come. Hallelujah. I heard this in my spirit and I will really shook me up a little bit. We have been sleeping on the job. Oh, Jesus. I'm here to remind us today that the good news of Jesus Christ is not old news. Let me repeat myself. The good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ is still fresh. It's not old news. It's still validated today. It is still the source of salvation. It is still good enough to save us so it is still very much the most important, important part of the Christian journey. It is still the number one job. 
the number one priority or should be the number one priority for us as believers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know, I know we probably, probably didn't come to hear this word, word today, but God is an untied God. God. God don't make mistakes, and, and everyone, everyone here today is here for a reason. And I know it's an appointment that I heard that this morning, and I heard that the word last week was chosen. You are chosen. chosen. Hallelujah. Now, now if, if we are chosen, chosen, it's time for us to do our jobs. It is time for us to walk in the purpose and the calling of our lives. It is not time to fall asleep. Hallelujah. For the enemy is still working harder than ever before. Hallelujah, Jesus. Look around us today. Especially the young people. And I'm so glad that it's Sunday today. Hallelujah. Because I want to speak to us today. Amen. It is time to work. We made a decision. We made a decision to follow Christ. And we can't sit down on this decision. We are not trophy Christians. We're not going to sit on the shelf and call it dust. Hallelujah. We're going to get up and go out and work. Because there's a nation out there that's desperate for a work. There's a nation of people dying out there. Because they don't know about the good news of Jesus. They don't know that Jesus Christ laid down his life. And went to hell. And took the keys back from the devil. Took the keys to life and death and say, here. It is ours. The word of God declares. That, that I didn't give you the power and authority to trap up a serpent and scorpions. And over all the plans of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt us. He also said that he did not give us a spirit of fear. But a power of love and of a sound mind. So we should be walking in boldness. Walking in authority. Walking in our God-given purpose. Because God said that he would never leave us or forsake us. We are never alone. No matter how you feel the depressed sometimes. No matter how it may look dark sometimes. No matter how it may look like the light is not shining. But let me tell you something. The word of God is true. Hallelujah. The word of God can't lie because this is God himself. Hallelujah, Jesus. And he's not a man that he should lie. Nor is he a son of man to repent. Oh, Jesus, I don't hear everybody today. I don't hear anybody today. But, but ready or not, not Jesus, Jesus is calling. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm, I'm here, here to remind us today that, that the church still has a responsibility to go and teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name of Jesus Christ. Teaching them to observe all the things whatsoever I, Jesus, have commanded you. This is a commandment. It's, it's not, not a choice. choice. If, if you're, you're a believer, believer and you are in it, if you have put on Christ, oh Jesus, Jesus, it is our responsibility to go out and teach people. Come on, Come on say saints of God. We have, we to, have put to put ourselves, ourselves on the back burner that Jesus, Jesus did. It. That's why we are here today. He didn't think of himself when he thought of the creation. Because when he created us and he looked at it, the word, he looked at us, the word of God said, he said that this is good. What God, God created, created is a masterpiece. Look at your neighbor and, and say, you are a masterpiece. masterpiece. Created in the image of God. God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Jesus. I'm here to remind us today that we should have that fire. Do you remember your first encounter with Jesus? I will never forget my first encounter with Jesus. It's not like there was fire from the bottom of my mouth. It rushed to my head. And I didn't want, I didn't want to contain it. I wanted it to go on and on and on and on and on and on. But I still have that fire today. Because you know what? God is so good to me. That I have so many testimonies that I can share. But I just want to remind us today. Just remind us. That Jesus is still Jesus. The same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We should want the same for the unsaved. Say to God, don't you want... The other person or the people who don't believe to experience what you have. Because this is something that you can't just tell somebody about. This is an, this is an experience. You've got to feel it to know it. You've got to experience the warm embrace of Jesus. You've got to experience that the Holy Spirit just flooding you. Oh, good God. Oh, Jesus. You want to 
feel that that same ignition is like striking a match and a match is back. Hallelujah, Jesus. I see the spark of fire just blaze up. Hallelujah. Come on, say, aren't you excited today? The good news of Jesus is not old news. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're going to watch and pray today. Because the word of God declares that we should be sober and vigilant. Because our adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But as mature Christians of God, as mature followers of God, oh Jesus, we have to know who we are. We have to know whose we are. We have to know what we are capable of when we have the Holy Ghost on the inside. For there is no powers on earth, no powers that be, that can compare to the power of the Holy Ghost. We are not ordinary people, saints of God. We, we have the supernatural dwelling on the inside. Do we know this? Do we really believe it? Because I believe that if we really believe it, we will not be sitting down just doing nothing and watching our children fall away. The Bible, the Bible says, says watch, watch and pray. And pray. Jesus, Jesus said, said watch, watch and, and pray. pray. Hallelujah. Because, because this, this time, time he's not coming back, back with salvation. salvation. Oh, oh glory, glory to God. God. This, this time he's coming back with judgment. Judgment. He said, behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me. What is going to be our reward if we sit down on the gifts that he gives us? What is going to be our reward? Oh, Jesus, I heard Bishop say that he's working for his crown. I'm working for mine. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm working for my crown. Oh, good God Almighty. Take everything away from me. I could care less. As long as I have Jesus Christ. As long as my salvation is still short. Oh, hallelujah. For greater it is to come. Oh God, what we are experiencing right now, right here, is nothing compared to the glory of God in heaven. I want to get there to find out. Hallelujah. I want to get there to find out. Oh, glory to God. So all of us who have been sleeping, and I like to say us because I don't want anybody to feel like I'm throwing stones, but we know ourselves. We know what we've been doing. We know what we have not been doing. We know if we've been following the blueprint. We know if we have made up our own blueprint. Hallelujah. There's only one master plan. One master builder. Oh, glory to God. And, and he, he has, has given, given us the instructions for this lifetime. Oh, praise Jesus. I don't hear anybody. I don't hear anybody, but that's all right. Because we're not going to look at faces today. God sees the heart. God sees the heart. And I declare in this place that transformation will take place in some, some hearts today because we are not going to leave the same way that we came. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. The, the word, word of God, God is quick. And, and the word of God is, is, is powerful. And the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. It cuts going in and it cuts coming out. It will do what it's supposed to do. So I don't have to add anything today, nor do I have to take away. The word will do exactly what it was designed to. Hallelujah. See, a lot of times we come to church. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just to hear a word to hype us up. Is this the truth? Are we going to be honest today? We find ourselves in a spot, in a position, and we say, God, we need a word today. I need, I need a word today, God. I know somebody in here needed a word today. And the word is watch and pray. The word is watch and pray. The word is seek me first. Seek me first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of the things will be added up to you. Let me say that again. Seek me first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And, and all of the things shall be added unto you. This is a promise. This is a promise. And the God that I know, the Jesus that I know, he's a way maker, a promise keeper, a light in the darkness. 
a bridge over troubled waters. Oh God, a restorer of my soul, our redeemer. Oh Jesus, do we serve the same God? We do. Just a second. Hallelujah, Jesus. There's a story in the Bible that said when Jesus went up to pray, he came back down and a few of his disciples were sleeping. And he specifically told them to watch. Hallelujah. Watch. Why do we watch? Maybe asking yourself this question. Why do we watch? Because as I said before, the enemy is working double time, triple time. Amen. And, and if we, we are fully connected, connected to God, why do we watch you will show us what, what is to come before, before it happens? Hallelujah. See, our God, God loves us so much. He doesn't, doesn't want, want to see us fail, does he? That's, That's not the God, God that we serve. But, but I do have news for us today. today. He allows things to happen. Because, because sometimes, sometimes we, we do fall asleep. And sometimes he got to send something to wake us up. up. He got to wake us up. Awake from your slumber. You got work to do. There are people dying. There are people dying. Do we only care about ourselves? How do we watch the news lately? Minister Gary turned on the news the other day. I think it was two nights ago. And in the first three minutes, in the, in the first, first three minutes, I just, just wanted, wanted, to, wanted him to turn it off. Just, just turn it off. A 17-year-old male got shot up in his vehicle. Another 18-year-old young lady got burnt up by, by her boyfriend while she was sleeping. She's still alive, but traumatized. This is what the enemy is doing, saying. And, and he's out to the young people. Oh, Jesus, because in Genesis, God said that the seed of the woman, yes, he was talking about Jesus, but we are sons and daughters of Jesus Christ. Sons and daughters of God will crush the head of the devil. Hallelujah. But the devil will bruise our heel. Oh, good God Almighty. We have to stand on the ground. We have, we have to, to watch it pray. pray. Prayer is a two-way communication. Prayer is how we hear from God. And, and sometimes prayer is not just talking, 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 talking. talking, talking, talking. talking. You, you gotta, gotta listen. listen. Listen to that still small voice. And it's not it's always still and small. Sometimes, sometimes it's like the Bible said, the voice of the many waters. waters. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh good God, God watch, watch you pray. pray. Saints of God, God. we are too busy, busy worrying about the wrong things. The, the Bible, Bible says, let tomorrow's troubles worry about itself. If he dresses the lilies, if he feeds the birds of the air, what will he do for us? What will he do for us? We shouldn't be praying for clothes to wear on our backs. None of us in here are naked. Even if you wear the same suit over and over and over and over. We are clothed. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, good God. Jesus is coming back. He's coming back. And he's coming for a church that is spotless. He's coming for a church who did not ignore his commandments. He's coming for a church who knew how to put themselves on the back burner. He's coming for a church who followed the commandment when he said, love your enemies. Oh, Jesus. Do good. Even to the ones who hurt you. The ones who spit in your face. Look what they did to Jesus. They ridiculed him. Oh my Jesus. Sometimes we don't remember that Jesus, when we say the Bible says that Jesus Christ was a man in the flesh. He was he looked just like us, people of God. He looked just like us. 
The Bible doesn't give us a detailed description of what Jesus' body type was. Amen. But he was, but that he was a man with flesh and blood and feelings, emotions, just like us. But at the same time, 100% God. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. My God. What have we done with the gifts and the talents that God has given us? I want, I want to remind us that the gifts and talents given to us was not for us. The gifts and the talents given to us is not for us. us. And sometimes we believe that our gifts are a burden. The devil is a liar. The Bible declares in 1 Corinthians 10 that God will never give us more than we can bear. Neither in troubles nor in talents. Hallelujah, Jesus. If you were chosen to receive that gift, if God saw it fit to give you that gift, it's because he knows you know what to do with it. But we have a choice. We were given free will. Hallelujah, Jesus. Use your gifts today. Use your talents today. Somebody's life is depending on it. Oh, Jesus, we don't want to be blood on our hands. What will you say when God says, what have you done? I gave you this gift, and then it shows you a multitude of people that were waiting on that one gift to be saved. A multitude of people who just died because you decided you are not going to do it. You deliberately disobeyed God. But still our aim is to get in. We can't. Not with disobedience. Hallelujah. Watch and praise the name of God. Do not bury your gifts. Hallelujah. It's time to wake up from our slumber. Oh, sweet God. You know, as I was putting pen and paper together yesterday, I was sitting in the backyard on a building block and a towel. How long have I been under that table? Sitting on a building block and I was just communicating with God, just talking to Him. And I began to cry because. When the Lord speaks to you, it's such a peace that flows in, inside of you. It's, it's, such a, it's so comforting. It's like nothing else that you can explain or you can describe or compare it to. But as I was listening to the voice of God, I heard some loud music. Oh, good God. And I dare not repeat what was playing in the music. And I said, my God. God. This, this is what I'm sitting here doing, trying, trying to have a conversation with you. And, and here comes the devil. devil. Oh, Jesus. Paul said, said whenever I try to do good, evil always presents itself. So don't ever think that everything is going to be smooth sailing. Oh, Jesus. The sails will be torn. The ship will be rocking. Hallelujah, Jesus. But the anchor, the anchor, Jesus, still holds. The anchor still holds. It will not be a walk in the park. Jesus never promised us that. No, he didn't. He never promised us the easy way out. He said the world will hate you because they first hate me. Oh, glory to God. So don't you ever sit back and say, God, I'm here serving you. What is this happening to me? I'm here to tell you that that's, that's a journey. That is the journey. And when you decided to follow Christ, you signed up for it. Oh, Jesus. After he said that he would not give you more than what you can hear, the word of God says God is faithful. He is 
faithful to make a way of escape. Hallelujah, Jesus. He is faithful to make a way of escape. He's not going to leave you down in the valley. But sometimes you got to hit rock bottom. When that's the lowest place you can go. In order to look up and say, I'm not staying here any longer. God got to allow us to fall. In order to get back up. In order to fix our eyes on him. In order to fix our eyes. Oh, Jesus. The word of God says, I will look to the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Oh, my help cometh from the Lord. Watch and pray, saints of God. The Bible always says, also says, pray without ceasing. We shouldn't stop. No matter what it looks like. No matter what it looks like. It is not what it seems. Oh, glory to God. If we could only see the future. But I know a God. He holds the future. The song says he's got the whole world in his hand. And I'm sure he never put it down. Mighty God. He never put it down. Oh, good God. God. It's, it's time, time for us to stop living a carefree life. life. It's, it's not, not about, about us anymore. It is, it is not, not about us anymore. When, when we were in the world, world, it was about us because we couldn't see, we didn't know any better. We didn't know any better. Didn't didn't know know any better. Oh, glory to God. But the, the nation, nation is dying and desperate for a word. And, and the, the good, good news, news of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the gospel of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, is still, still able, still able. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. It's, it's time, time for us to put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. The helmet of salvation, sweet salvation. The, the breastplate of righteousness. Oh Jesus, and step out into the enemy's territory because we are fully guarded, fully equipped, ready to go in and take back what the enemy has stolen from us. But we're free, man. We're free. Free of what? Free of what? What power is stronger than God? What power? What power? None. Because that power, that thinking can rise up against the knowledge of God, will be put to shame. But we have to walk in it. We have to know that we know that we know that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. And, and he, he said, said he's going to do it. Watch and pray. pray. Wake, Wake up, man. Wake up. Imagine you, you hire somebody, somebody to stand guard, guard at your, your gate. gate. And when we pull up, we hours in the morning. morning. Hey! I'll drive over you. Fast asleep. asleep. Mighty God, I want you to look your key to open it. The enemy will walk in and terrorize your place. Took everything that he wanted to take. Trying to leave you in a destitute and desolate place. But when you walk with God, when you show up, when they came and I sleep, yes I know. When you walk in there, with the power of God and the army of God behind you. And said, devil, give me back the city, devil. Give me them back right now. For my Jesus, he took the keys back. And now I have them in my hand and I will use them. I will use them. Oh, glory to God. When the saints fall asleep. 
This means, this means that we are inattentive to our walk with God. Lazy about our spiritual development. Slacking in our disciplines of prayer and Bible reading. The Bible says, watch your prayer. We can't do anything without the word of God. We can't do anything without the sword of the spirit. The word of God says, that word have I hid in my heart. That I may not sin against the thief. If we don't have the word, we can't conquer no devil. Because, because we can't clean stone off of anymore. We can't chop up the demon with machete. This sword right here yeah, is the only weapon of mass destruction. It is the only weapon that we can use to conquer that which was set to destroy us. Oh, glory. I feel my help. Thank you, Jesus. It is the word of God that determines if we win or lose. Oh, Jesus. It is the word of God that determines if we win or lose. You want to win? The word of God says, talk to show yourself approved. Unto God. You know what that means? If you don't story and put this word here, you can't be that approved. If you're going, you're going by yourself. Study. Study means you don't just read one verse to the answer all that word. Understand it. You have to meditate on it. Learn it, put it here and apply it. Application is necessary because we can't have the word and not use it. Listen, people, I use this by the not be people. The physical word, you can't do nobody with this. You don't love to nobody with this. You have to speak the word. The word has to be spoken. When God said, Let there be light. There was light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Read the Bible, man. Study the word, man. Or else we will be ineffective, ineffective Christian. Yeah. Ineffective. Serve no purpose. Good God, empty marriage. Nice. Jesus, Wallipa nice. Good God, almighty. No effect. Oh Jesus. When, when we fall asleep, say to God, we give the enemy free access. Especially into the church. We give the enemy free access. We open the door of coming. Come on in. Make yourself a good. And then we we'll wonder what's happening. We wonder what the chaos and the turmoil. And all the destruction in our lives. Why is this happening to us? Have you checked yourself lately? Sometimes we need to put right on our schedule. You know? Yes, it helps. We have to strategize. The song was sung this morning. I put you in front. In front of my melody. Do we really put Jesus Christ in front of the sins of God? Amen. When you open your eyes in the morning before you put your feet on the ground, do you think of Jesus? Do you say thank you, God? Thank you that I am alive another day. Thank you that I'm standing on top of my grave. Thank you, God. Even that the rapture didn't come and I'm still here. Thank you that I have another chance to make it right. Thank you that I can repent. And ask you to come and clean me up again, God. Thank you, Jesus. 
the cross. Thank you for the nails in your hands. Thank you for the stars on your feet. Thank you for the, 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 the piercing in your side. Thank you for the crown of thorns. How many of us could wear a crown of thorns? Just the crown of thorns. Not even the full crucifixion. Just the crown of thorns pressed down into his skin. Blood rushing. Hallelujah, Jesus. He felt the pain. He felt it. And while he was going through it, you and you and you and you and I was on his mind. Our children was on his mind. The future was on his mind. His creation was on his mind. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Watch and pray, saints of God. Watch and pray. Because the enemy don't care. He don't care about your feelings. He don't care. He got one thing on his mind. I'm taking you to hell with me. I'm taking you to hell with me. And some of us think that is all that we're kill a man you can go ahead. But when your heart is not right with God, when your heart is not right with your neighbor, when your heart is not right with the person sitting next to you, you can't make it in. There's no crown for you to collect. The reward will not be good. Watch and pray for you know not when the time is, people of God. Me, I beg you know. I am begging you today. Make up your mind because you can't have one foot in and one foot out. You can't give a double in a sin and think you can make it in. Some of us say, I will wait until later on. I will give my life to Christ when I'm ready. There's no other time to be ready. The only time you have is now. Because you can walk out of this place and that's it.
What, what if this, this is why I have to praise God the way I do? Because had it not been, been for the Lord on my side, where, where would I be today? yourself as a child no more. He said, suffer the little children to come unto me. Watch and pray. The kingdom of God is at hand. He's coming back. He's coming back. At this time, if you're not ready, if you are not ready, Jesus, help me. He's going to show you your life. Roll back the curtains. And show us every opportunity he gave us. Every single one. Every time you heard the word. And you turned away from it. You deny him. When you deny the word. You deny the Lord. Watch that pray. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants. We are the servants who were given authority. We are the servants who were given the word. We are the servants. Oh, good God. Who were assigned a task. We have an assignment, people of God. Every single one of us. Every one of us. Because God is no respecter of persons. He created us all. We are equal. Nobody no better than nobody. We are one in the eyes of God. He said he commanded the porter to watch. He commanded us to watch. Watch ye therefore. For you know not when the master of the house cometh. At even, meaning in the evening. All right, midnight, while you're sleeping. Imagine if God comes, Jesus Christ returns in the middle of the night and you're not ready. You sleep and you don't get the opportunity to repent. You don't get the opportunity to say, God, I'm sorry. Please don't leave me. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord saith 
into the church. Don't try to figure me out today. I didn't call myself. I didn't set myself. But hear the voice of God. Hear the voice of God. Hear Jesus. Hear Jesus. 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 I just want to be with you. 
You provide the fire. Yes, God. And we provide the sacrifice. You provide the spirit. Feel me up, God. Feel me up, God. Feel me up. You provide the fire. And I provide the sacrifice. I will open up inside to feel me of God. Feel me of God. Feel me of the my couple. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. I said, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no Just fill my cup, fill it up, and make me your Lord, lift me up, and let me stand by faith on him. Lord, plant my feet on I said, Lord, plant my feet on I Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Everything I need to make me happy. I've got Jesus to show me the way. See, He has given me 
and forgiveness can take you to heaven. Even though you're not having sex and teething and go over your mind. Unforgiveness is bitterness that blocks the Holy Ghost. Nothing God can come in your life. You can cry and say, Jesus. But that's because you know it from the moment. But the Spirit, you, you can sing the song, It's Well With My Soul. Because you can. Yes. And God writes in His Word, the root of bitterness can make you a murderer. There are Christians that people do things in the church and they still have that brother and sister and you send them away to heaven. Jesus said this for the repair. Sometimes we like to categorize people sin. Who's sinning big sin and who's sinning little sin? And, we, and those who we know are in sin, we put them out there. And we leave ourselves like we are in heaven. When God came in the garden of Eden and Adam sin with Eve, they covered themselves and they were enjoying life. But when God came in the road of life, I want to let Christ walk here this morning. Who will stand? Who will hide? We call it clothes, we look nice, but how is their heart? You sing so much on the choir, but what about your heart? Clean hands and a pure God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. And this is what I love. When the word is sown, it either break you, melt you, or mold you. This is what the word should do. Convict. That's the real word. It convict you of sin. It point of sin. I am not supposed to come up here and tell you to me your sin. Sit down. I have to do is to preach the word. And the word will do what it's supposed to do. Because there is power in the word. There is life in the word. And whatever touch today, don't only break today, but change today. Let there be a change. Remember the preacher for the word she brought and thank God he saved her. Brought her today and you can be blessed. Now with God in this world you will hold us accountable to all of us. We need to all of us. Is there one soul who is the pastor? Pray for me. Pray for me. I don't know your life, but God says I know your words. Ref, the Bible says in Revelation, I just feel in the appeal of the Spirit. There are some Christians right now with me and the Spirit. What is that? A stubborn Spirit. Be a child of God, a prophet. And he was about to go and curse some people. And God said, do not go and curse some people. Three times, some of us with their nice clothes, but we are cursing people in the church. And God said, stop it, repent, and you still are gone. Be God's spirit. God be it. And you know what God did to you? He jumped on a donkey one day. And he was going in spite of God. said, do not go over there. Stop our spirit. And while he was riding the donkey to go and curse God's people. The Bible says, 
God sent an angel with a sword to kill me now. Look at this. God said, repent and he determined in our amen. Say him in the message. And while he was riding the donkey to go there, look at this church. He's going in spite of your parts of we follow in mind. And not the spirit of God. And while he was going on his donkey to go on course, God's people, an angel stood in front of him, waiting for him to pass the red line. And the donkey saw the angel, but the man who was supposed to be a Christian can't see the angel. Some of us see sin, but we don't see the God who can clean sin. That's why we stay alive. We just see sin, 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 sin. But there is a man who is coming again. His name is Jesus. He can make every sin that is black. He can make them one. And when he was going to share with the donkey, the donkey started to walk up. The donkey saw him came with a sword and the enemy is beating him. Beat him to go. And the power of God came up on the donkey and can you imagine the donkey? Check your Bible. Some of you say, stop on the God up and use donkey instead of use us. The donkey said, man, you want me to go and God has of us from, from getting there and you stop going for God. So are you late? Mm. And you're possibly the way you are. I see you God, I see you for me. I believe in divine healing. That's right. That's right. Sometimes it's God. God. Can't see something. Right. For what you and me can't see is And that's why you tell the church to believe all things work together for the good. There is a good in your last situation. Something good is going to come out. Why God can't see your things? Something good. So Jesus
Minister of God. Never see a picture from our mother's womb when her husband will be a big woman. Marry our children and preach the word of God, pay our ticket and keep that place safe to the land just to come and meet Joe this morning. This is a message. Somebody will be. And drink and smoke, and I can't stop. 
your heart and God raised him from the dead. And according to the word of the living God, you are saved. Hallelujah! That means that the minute you walk out this door, if anything at all should happen to you, you will make it. Hallelujah. the help that I know. Father, I thank you for these six mighty God that you have chosen today, mighty God. On this day, Father God, this was already ordained. Today is the day, Lord Jesus Christ, that you have chosen, mighty God, to save and receive these into glory. Mighty God, I give you thanks for them now. Father God, I pray right now, mighty God, for blood coverage from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Mighty God, because the Bible turn from the enemy, you become a prey. But mighty God, I decree and declare that no weapon that is formed against them will ever prosper. I decree and declare that every talk that has ever risen up against them, mighty God, is no condemned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare, oh God, that they will never be the same. I declare, oh God, mighty God, that the fire, mighty God, that was shut up in Jeremiah's bones will be, mighty God, their portion today. Father God, I pray, Lord God, that their hearts will be changed. Transform the mighty God that you will come in right now, mighty God, like a flood. Come in, Lord Jesus Christ, as they surrender to you. We give you glory for them now. Father, go with them, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, as they leave this place. Father God, I pray that they will have an encounter with you like, like never before. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will be upon them from this day forward. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it is so. In Jesus' name. Go with God. Peace be with you. Hallelujah.